Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna show you how I did the wiring on my Honda Talon. So let's get with it. So uh, <clears throat> what I've done is I went ahead and took this top cowl off. Um, I had to take my lower part of the windshield off. And then it, it was pretty simple to get in here, guys. Uh, once you get in here, you know, there's a lot of those little push tabs. You know, they're, they're everywhere right there. So what I ended up doing, if you can see all that, is uh, a lot of you guys have watched me in the past doing wiring. I like to do it right. You know, there's... Guys, you, you can scab this stuff together. <clears throat> That's all you can do. That's all you can do. But I'm telling you, it, it's just going to cause you problems in the long run. It's it's better just to do it right the first time and be done with it. Um, so everything I got here pretty much came off of Amazon. Um, battery boot covers, you know, it's they're cheap. I mean, I, I think I got a dozen of them. You know, six black ones and six red ones for just a few bucks. Uh, the fuse block, um, same deal. Amazon, I think it was thirteen dollars. Um, <clears throat> marine grade relay, it was I think eight eight bucks. And then you know, I had to, I had the fuse holder, so. Um, a lot of the stuff I do use, um, same deal. Deutsch connectors, um, Amazon. You can buy all of it. <clears throat> you know, you can buy as many as you want. So now kind of getting to that. Um, it was easier for me just to use this connector instead of trying to hunt down all the Honda stuff and do it that way. There, there's nothing else going to plug into that. So to me, it was just easier, something I knew, so. But uh, anyway, let's get to, to how I did this. So this power lead and this ground lead right here, those are the factory ones that were put in here by Honda that were tucked up underneath here. Um, I just, uh, I found a scrap piece of this plastic board at work in a trash can. Uh, so I brought it home cut it down the one neat thing that I have been using <clears throat> I did it on a whim I went to Harbor Freight and bought one of their nut zert tools pretty cheesy um, but you know it, it works so what I did is just put it up here mount it, you know, punch my holes put nut zerts in um, I did the same thing too, and this might be difficult to see, but I don't think I can do it, is the box. I guess it's better to go over here maybe. Right there is the controller for my winch. Um, same deal. Put nut zerts in there and it's nice and solid. And then when I go to, if I have to replace it, you know, they're, they're pretty simple. Um, so what this is, this is just a, a six gang fuse block with the ground so <clears throat> for the ground I just ran right off the ground post to supply the power to this this is where I use the relay and the fuse so I put a 40 amp fuse to cover you know the relay and then ran through the relay um, <clears throat> a relay you just have a switched power to activate the relay and then you have a ground and power well take that back switch power has the ground and the power in it the other two wires are just what's going to the accessory you know to, to turn it off and on so anyway power down to here this has got two posts so right now I've just got one side active and so far I mean I'm only running 20 amps of fuse right here so in theory you know, I can jump over here and as long as I don't max out that, which I really don't plan on hooking anything else up to this. This solely is my winch controller and I put in two USB chargers that I'll show at a later time. Um, same deal, Amazon. So <clears throat> that's kind of the wiring in a nutshell, guys. Um, 
I did go ahead and go with a super ATV winch uh, and their mount. So I still got to paint the hardware. You know, I already did a couple of them. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it was, it felt good quality. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about them. So that's why I went with them. Uh, I also like the fact that in their kit, they actually supplied new ends so you could custom cut the length of those cables what you need. If it's one thing I really hate seeing, it's when guys wound that winch cable up real tight and bundle it together to get rid of the excess. Man, you're making like a big heat coil right there, guys. I mean, an amp is a high draw device, and when you're gonna take that cable and wrap it together, you're, you're asking for trouble. Um, an old firefighter told me that once about extension cords in your house. You know, the biggest thing that causes fires is when people take extension cords and wind them up really tight and tie them together, big heat coil, you know, it can combust. So even if you don't go with a Super ATV, go to your local parts store and get the new connectors and crimp them on and shorten those things up. For one, it just makes it look better, and two, it's a lot safer. So kind of getting into that really quick. Um, I just ran my wires straight up, and as you can see, I put loom on it, so it just an extra layer of protection, and just ran it up around and to the winch controller, and then the two positives, I mean, positive and negative come over here, and this is just a two, um, stud bus bar so I ran a winch to the other sides of it so nice and clean uh, the only thing I got left to do in here <clears throat> is I'm still kind of kicking around to what I want to do for a switch controller um, I've been back and forth but I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and step out on a limb and try the aux beam um, it, it just looks a lot cleaner to me I don't have to you know, give up my cubby space because, you know, storage is real limited in these talons. So I think that's going to be the better route. And I'm really kind of looking forward to doing that. So when I do, uh, same deal. I got another piece of that plastic board. And I'll end up mounting a board somewhere in here that's easy to get to. And hooking everything into that. <clears throat> that way I can control my lights when I get them. And uh, rock, I mean rock lights, roof light, front lights, pillar lights, all that. So as I get that, you know, I'll keep going over with that on how I'm going to do it. Um, I've got a lot of other videos I need to make, hopefully this weekend. Um, things have been kind of crazy here. I haven't even really got to drive this thing that much. But from what I have, I love the hell out of this thing. I mean, everybody who drives it is loving it. They just can't get over how smooth it is with this Fox Live valve. Um, it, is, it, is, it is just awesome. So... For you guys that haven't seen it yet, I'll just kind of give you a quick overview um, of it. So it is a 2021, and like I said, I'm going to get more in depth of uh, some of the stuff I've got and everything on it um, here this weekend. So uh, look for some more videos coming out. I'm going to hopefully upload quite a few. So until then, um, give me the big thumbs up and subscribe, and you guys have a blessed day as always.